I love traveling. This is like the best part of being a stand-up comic is that you get to travel. Like I travel. I'm from uh, I'm from Texas, and my favorite place. Eh, hold off on that. My favorite. <laughs> my favorite place uh, to like do stand-up is Austin, Texas. Austin is amazing, right? Because if you've never been, let me explain what Austin is to you real quick. Austin is like a city. If a city was run by children, if a city was run by barefoot, pot smoking, acoustic guitar playing, liberal arts getting children, that would be Austin. I have this game I love playing. If you're ever in Austin, you should play it too. It's uh, called a uh, homeless or art history professor. <laughs> Thing is, you're never wrong. You're never wrong. It's just a homeless art history professor. Rent is ridiculous down there. I, I love traveling, uh, and when I'm in a new city, I love taking public transportation because you meet strangers on the bus and on the like the subway, and every stranger has a story, and every story goes to building a bigger version of who you are as a person. I don't do that in my hometown of Fort Worth anymore because when I was 16 years old, I got on the bus, fell asleep, missed my stop by two stops, and I was awakened by a homeless man, ever so gently, kissing me on the lips, just giving me <laughs> the softest, sweetest kiss. It was, it was like the first time like, I heard like Pink Floyd, it changed everything about me. And I don't know what you're saying, Josh, I'd freak out, I'd beat the crap out of him. You weren't there, you didn't feel what I felt in that moment. <laughs> After I got out of high school in 2007, I was in the army for a bit, and that's cool. I guess matching uniforms every day, whatever. Uh, but I was, uh, I was in Arizona, and I was stationed uh, at this place called Fort Huachuca, Arizona. And right outside of Fort Huachuca, there was this town called Bisbee. And Bisbee had this dope swap meet where I found all these cool antiques that I sent home to my mom. And in my searches, I found an authentic whites-only sign, like a real one. I don't think they make fake ones. I don't think anybody's out there making fake ones. Oh, you prankster. I don't think anybody is out there doing it. And I was going to buy it, but it was like $45. And I don't know about you guys, but that's a little expensive to me personally for a piece of racial paraphernalia. You know what I mean? All right, just say you were having a garage sale and you had a swastika beach towel. You let that go for a dollar fifty tops. That's a hot item. You need that off your property. I was gonna buy this white Tony sign so I could hang it up on the door to my bedroom. Not for that reason, kind of for that reason, but uh, I wanted to. I wanted to feel like I was breaking the color barrier every time I took a nap. Just like kicking the door to my bedroom like, oh, check me out. I'm the Jackie Robinson of masturbating in the afternoon. <laughs> that is my time. Thank you guys very much. I'm Josh Charles. <laughs>